Good morning, everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Cynthia Red of www.thepreachers.org. I haven't been online preaching in a couple of weeks. I, I took a foolish break. However, let's talk about hovering and governing spirits that also place fear in you. And they also seek to hide and protect those that work with them. Okay? to receive a financial gain or a material gain over you. Let me share a story before we get into this. I've been in my apartment over a year in Bourbon A, known as Babonis, Illinois. My neighbor across from me used to live in this apartment. Another lady lived in before I moved in it for three months. My neighbor hasn't lived in this apartment, say two and a half to three years. But each one of us has a continuing lease meaning that you can sever the lease if you choose or the landlord chooses. Um, my neighbor kept a continuing lease on my apartment as I have my current leases. But she has a lease on a cross for me in apartment one. She recently registered a new Ford 2008 uh, SUV, little Jeep she got out there, truck, whatever you want to call that garbage. Explorer, whatever it is, escape something, it's right out front to my house, getting mail to my house. So I just thought they was nosy neighbors, disrespectful, looking in my windows, seeing who coming in my house. I don't have a lot of company. My grandchildren don't like to come over here too much. I don't have them over because of them causing trouble. Getting in my business with the lady that was living in apartment six that moved because her son lives over me. They harassed her so bad. The lady in apartment five, four, one, ran the girl out of here okay i had issues with the girl but not to the point where i couldn't talk to her or anything you know but they ran her out so she was parking on her side of the building decides to park on my side and move her husband over she's always lying on me <clears throat> saying i'm throwing parties i have no visitors here uh, she's always picking, her husband's always picking, her son is always picking, the daughter-in-law is always lying, the children's always picking, no peace. I told the landlord about what she did. My landlord, Wendy Nugent, decided to come against me and asked, was I all right, was I crazy? Every year at about this time, she's seeking to evict me, even when I first moved in. Now, mind you, my building, my apartment, <clears throat> my building needs serious repair, okay? Um, I had to have, like, a diaper thing at the top of my bathroom, and, and here come the channel. We can't have that. I had the plumber come over and fix your place. Never came. Lives to just get money from me all the time. Right now, I can't afford to move just yet, but trust me, I am planning. I, I have to, uh, I got a police report. Take it to the Bobonis Police Department, who asked me for the police report. The Bobonis Police, I got it from them, and I went to the post office in Bobonis, who asked me to get the police report number to report them. When they found out it was a white person, they didn't want to do nothing about it. They wanted to escalate it up and tell me to go directly to the main post office, okay, because this was a white person. Oftentimes, I feel energy coming from them from their home, their apartment. And it's all negative, like fear, fear. You know, lying, pretending to be a uh, help to a landlord. They really like nothing to the building. The landlord is just racist and so are they. Um, the black lady upstairs that sweep the floors, she's, she's supposed to be African or whatever, but I'm Caribbean, you know. I'm from Caribbean, Native American, mulatto descent. Through my parentage, which is my parents and my grandparents and my great grandparents. So I'm not of African descent. I'm a American black. Okay. So the bottom line is, the story short is, I have to do a natural thing to get a demon off my back. I have to literally go to the main post office uh, tomorrow, well, today when I finish this. Give them the police report and explain to them what's happening. I also had to put my mail on hold for 30 days, get my mail, pick it up. You know, do that kind of stuff. And then my part of me is, are you sure the devil's not leading you? I said, I think the devil is what I had to hand her. The police ran a background check on me while I was doing the report. Then they asked me, was I opening her mail? I don't have her mail. 
I gave her the registration to her car and everything. And I'm looking like, this is your new car. You have fraudulized a purchase and have it on my address. Your husband's getting mail here too. So these are the type of spirits. I can walk past my front door and feel a fear spirit come. And the Lord is like, no, no, no. This is your apartment. Jesus is in charge of your apartment. Not your neighbor. They used to live in it. Now, mind you, in my apartment, they put some carpet down. It wasn't put down properly. But they were supposed to change the old carpet that's in my bedroom that's brown and gold. I cleaned that carpet thoroughly because it was smelling like cigarettes. It smelled bad. So I kept getting carpet clean and stuff and cleaning, 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 and cleaning it up because I kept seeing different spirits and stuff and different entities. So I cleaned that out so I can rest in the apartment. Mind you, now, I haven't brought any heavy furniture to live here. I just feel like I'm just here, okay, to have shelter, which is good for me because I did experience homelessness. Okay, now let's get into the word about this. Now, we're going to look at um, James 4 and 7. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Remember now, I got a task to do to get the devil off my back. Okay, let's go to 2 Corinthians verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage over us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. For furthermore, when I come to Torah to preach Christian's gospel, and the door was open unto me of the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit, because I found not Tetris, my brother. But taking my leave of them, I went from thence to in, into Mesopotamia. Macedonia. Now, thanks be unto God, which always caused us to triumph in Christ and make of manifest the savor his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet sovereign of Christ, in them that are saved, in them that perish, in them that perish. To the one we are sovereign of death unto death, and to the other the sovereign of life unto life, and is sufficient for these things. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as a senior censor, mm, serenity, no, censor, I ain't saying this right. Sincerity, you know, you say sincerely, sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. All right, do we begin? Okay, now this is the third chapter. Do we begin again to command ourselves, or not we, as some others, apostles, of uh, condemnation to you? Or let us uh, accommodation for you. Yea, are our apostles, epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. Okay, let's go to Ephesians chapter 6. As he spoke of Techerus, Titus. He looked for Titus, but let's talk about Techerus. Techerus. Because Techerus... Is an example of what ministers do. Okay, so Ephesians chapter 6, verse 21. But that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Tucker us, a beloved brethren and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things, whom I sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our hearts and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren and love from faith. Of with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to put my new light bulb up there. Okay, now I say again, therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4 and 7. Okay, now let's go to 1 John 3 and 8. I had to get some scriptures off the internet. I was studying. Uh, 
demons and how they like to hover and govern and mess with your mind, first thing they start with is fear. They saw, if you mess with me, you're going to lose something. If you mess with me, you're going to lose something. Then I heard that before. Been through that too. So I'm at the time of my life where I ain't afraid about messing with nobody. Not even the landlord. Because I'm right this time. For real. Okay, First John chapter 3, verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil... Sinned from the beginning for his purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy his the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doeth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Okay, that gives me the answer to where I fell in the lesbianism right there. And I didn't really want to be. I wanted to be like a light and do the will of God and not knowing the scripture against other people in the in, in the homosexual church I fell into it. Uh, and then my man started and body started becoming accustomed to it because of mistreatments I've had in my life. Okay, so so verse nine is who also Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteous, is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. Okay, that's the second verse. Okay. I have a lot of people that live around me that used to go to church that don't go anymore uh, for various different reasons. I know that a lot of churches around here in Kankakee County are not very welcoming, and a lot of them don't have a lot of members. You can count them on one hand who has most members, and ministers um, try and recruit you, but like I said, I had a bad experience myself with all of uh Mount Olive here in my county and I had to leave them because the first lady started attacking me and using her husband as the weapon and with me being a minister I need to get out of here I gave him a bad Google review took it off then I put it back on after that conversation I had with a gentleman at the laundromat you know, I forgive her but I'm not stupid so we are required to warn others when someone is controlling and tries to take praise away from me because praise is a part of our spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. It's a part of our spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. God admires and loves the praises of his people. When we praise God and give him the glory and all the honor that is due to him, he manifests and he protects and the devil manifests to govern, to rule, pollute, destroy, misguide. He does all of that. But God is sovereign. God is holy. God is omnipresent. God is always with us. The embodiment of the Holy Ghost is our strength because the body embodiment of the Holy Ghost is with Jesus. And when he died on the cross, he released the embodiment unto us, no longer upon us, but inside of us, so that we may cast out devils and come against any evil spirit that comes against us, naturally and spiritually. And I thank God that God told me, you know, you got to do something natural to take care of this problem. And I will, and it is up God, even though it feels not right. But I have to do what I got to do. But she going to keep on going if I don't. Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. And having spoiled properties and powers, he made a show of them openly, trampling over them in it, that no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of any holy day or of 
the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility or worshiping of angels and indulging into those things which you had not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding their head, from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment, ministered, and knit together, increase with the increase of God. Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the remnants of the world, why as thou living in the world, I.D. 72, ordinance, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men, which things have indeed a show of wisdom and real worship and humility and, and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Father God, we thank you for that. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you have given two answers to me personally and that these answers also may be good for someone else. Now let's look at Colossians. Um, Colossians, um, say Colossians, because my um, guy work would always say Colossians on the radio on Mondays. Colossians 113, uh, chapter 113. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Amen. That's the answer. Going back, let's give me the answer. Philippians chapter 2, 5, verses 5 through 11. Okay. Let this mind be in you, which also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. I'm not equal with God. But have the mindset that the Holy Ghost is developing for God through his embodiment. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. We're talking about Jesus. So I have to say that about that verse. And being formed in fashion as man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. And at that name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in the earth and, and things of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Thank you, Jesus. God has given me the answers to the governing spirits that are bothering me that are going now. They're releasing at this moment in the name of Jesus. I release them away from me. I release them from my son and my daughter. I release them from my ex-husband and all the marriages he them had. I release I release, I release, I release everyone. Behold, I give unto you to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Okay. Now let's go to Isaiah 54 and 17. That famous protection scripture. Okay. 
I need to finish reading Isaiah. I keep saying this to myself. And I have not finished Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah chapter 4. Four it's Isaiah not chapter 4. That's about marriage. Okay, it's about marriage. Okay, Isaiah 54, verse 17. <clears throat> no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt come down. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness of me, said the Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your word on today, on how to expel and get rid of hovering, covering spirits that, that incite fear. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you work naturally as well as spiritually with us. Thank you. Stay with us. Be with us. Manifest in us. <coughs> and continue to love on us, Father. Let's close this out. And Ephesians chapter 6. <coughs> Warfare garments. <coughs> Verses 10 through 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that ye may be able to stand against the wells of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God that ye may be able to withstand an evil day, and having done all to stand, stand, therefore having done all spread about with truth. <coughs> I am on the breastplate of righteousness, and your faith shared with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with the use of the child faith, drops of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always, praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching them too, with all preservation, supplication for all saints, and for me, that utterance may give, be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that they are not as ought to speak, but that ye may know my affairs and how I do. Take grace of beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, to make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren in love of faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.